The second natural law expression is the initiating expression, what I call the initiating expression, just my term for it, okay? The initiating expression is the first stage of tangible and recognizable results which we produce in our lives after we have, quote unquote, set the ball rolling, okay? Set the dynamic in motion uh, by choosing between the generative polarities of either love or fear, all right? So, we choose love and something starts to happen. We become open to truth, right? Well, love is the expansive force for consciousness that opens our minds to the truth and awareness. So what do we gain as a result of accepting or, or existing in the vibratory energy called love? We gain knowledge, which is the acceptance of truth. Since love opens us up to truth, knowledge is its reception. It is the receiving of truth. We come to know. Okay? So that's how it starts. I call this the initiating expression. Now, of course, there's a negative initiating expression if we are existing in the vibratory dynamic of fear. That would be the opposite of knowledge. What is it? Ignorance. Ignorance. Right. Okay, now, this is what I put forward as knowledge. This is my imagery for knowledge. Okay? Uh, that's a being who knows themselves. You know, and as the mystery traditions of uh, of Greece put forward uh, at the Delphic Oracle, know the self and you will know the universe. In other words, know the microcosm and you will know the macrocosm. Know thyself. The positive aspect of this initiating expression is knowledge or the acceptance of truth. Knowledge positively influences the quality of our lives because it positively influences our decision-making processes that lead to understanding in every area of our lives. You want to know how something works and ultimately create something good? You have to have knowledge. You want to know how a car works? Keep it running in good order, you have to have knowledge. You want to know how a computer works? Keep it running in good order, you have to have knowledge. You want to know how the human psyche works and keep it running in good, good order so the conditions on earth manifest the way you want them to manifest? You got to have knowledge. Not getting out of this condition without learning. Learning is the key. It's the answer. That it, Knowledge is, is the answer. And people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear it. They want to think, we're magically going to manifest the, con the de desired conditions that we say we want without learning a thing. It doesn't work that way. So, again, the negative initiating expression is ignorance. Ignorance is the refusal of truth. It is the refusal to gain knowledge. Okay? Because we are in fear. So here's what I put <laughs> as the image for ignorance. You know, the population that is hypnotized, that wants to keep paying attention to nonsense and trivialities, feed themselves tons of GMO food that is crap for the physiology, you know, pay attention to distraction, entertainment, mainstream news and media, you know. Uh, it's all there to just shut the consciousness down and keep people in a depressed a psychological state and keep them in a state of psychological infancy. The negative aspect of the initiating expression of natural law is ignorance or the refusal of truth. Ignorance negatively influences the quality of our lives because it negatively influences these decision-making processes that lead to understanding in every area of our lives. If you're ignorant about how anything works, you can't create the desired condition. It's just not possible. It's important to remember, again, that ignorance should be distinguished from nescience, which means not knowing because necessary information is not present or was unattainable. Ignorance, on the other hand, means not knowing even though necessary information is present because that information has been willfully refused or disregarded. And again, to keep us in ignorance, they don't need to hide the information anymore because it's not hidden anymore. It's out. And it, once again, it's available at your fingertips for free if you have the desire to take it in. But now, the, 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 the manipulation mechanism that is used is dissuade people from looking at it. Provide endless entertainment, provide endless amusement, provide endless distraction, and say there's nothing to any of that stuff, that's just some old crazy religion 
that you don't need to understand. It's no different than any other religion believing that natural law exists. Okay? That's what people will insist on telling you. So people will be dissuaded from ever looking into it, and they'll disregard it of their own choice. Thomas Jefferson said that if an, a nation expects to be ignorant and free in a state of civilization, it expects what never was and never will be. Freedom and ignorance are antitheses of each other that can never coexist simultaneously. That is an impossibility in natural law. I'm going to put up a couple other quotes on ignorance. Samuel Adams said, No people will tamely surrender their liberties, nor can any be easily subdued. When knowledge is diffused, that means it's everywhere present, and virtue is preserved, meaning morality. On the contrary, when people are universally ignorant and debauched in their manners, meaning purely selfish and only worried about themselves, they will sink under their own weight without the aid of foreign invaders, meaning the society will turn inward on itself and collapse and destroy itself just based on the fact alone that the population is ignorant and they are ensconced in uh, moral relativism and um, other forms of debauchery and just uh, self-pleasure as their highest virtue, their highest uh, desire. Socrates said that the only good is knowledge and the only evil is ignorance. And this is a quote I'd like to be remembered for. Willful ignorance in the presence of knowledge is the measure of a bad person. And people will say that's extremely harsh. That's true. That doesn't make the statement untrue. The statement is true as well. It is a harsh statement. See, people in my family will ask me, why don't, why don't you have anything to do with me anymore? I've deliberately cut off many members of my own family. Okay? Because many members of my own family say, I know what's going on and I don't, I don't care. I don't intend to do a damn thing about it. I'm worried about me, myself, and mine, and I don't care what's happening in the world. Well, you know what that's called, folks? That's called a bad person. Let's not mince words. Let's not euphemize. Let's call it what it is. That's called a bad person. And I don't want anything to do with bad people in my personal life. I don't hang out with bad people. I try to surround myself with good people who care. Because they're creating, co-creating wisely. Okay? I tell, my, I tell family members who I've cut off association with, because you do not care is what makes you a bad person. I don't want anything to do with you until you start caring about what's going on in the world. Then we could talk again. And I'll welcome you back with open arms and forgive you. But not until. You know, you want to stay in that level of consciousness? I want nothing to do with you. I don't want to be around people like that. They're bad influences, and they do bring other people down. You know? So I'll still put out the information. It's there any time for free that they want to go and engage in. And I tell them all, anytime you want to ask me and come over and engage directly with me, I'll make the time for you. But until you want to do that, until you develop that desire, I don't want to be in your presence. Okay? So maybe, I, I don't know if that's going to be effective. I don't know. And guess what? I don't care whether it's going to be effective because I'm not going to surround myself with bad people until they decide I want to make myself a better person. Then I'll, then I'll engage them and speak the truth to them. But until then, I'll put this out there for all for free, and they can engage at any time they want. You know, but in my personal life, I can't make time for that. I don't have energy for that. I barely have energy for this. Uh, an anonymous quote, I believe this was from some internet forum. I don't know who the gentleman, what the gentleman's name was, but it was a great quote. Uh, ignorance is the root cause of all evil. And since only knowledge eradicates ignorance. It is our duty and moral obligation, there's that term, to educate ourselves as well as the masses around us. That's a moral obligation if you're in a position of knowledge. And once again, that's why I do what I do. I don't do it because I like people. <laughs> Believe me, Barb will tell you how much I like people. <laughs> I don't do it to make friends. I don't do it to make money. 
I do it because it's a moral obligation and for no other reason. I don't serve people, I serve truth. Truth is a force, force which I serve. And I bend the knee to no other. That's it. That's it. So great quote on ignorance there. Great few quotes on ignorance. 